This is the Galaxy Note 9. And we all know that's an awesome phone. And in fact, just calling it a phone is a bit of a disservice to the amount of tech and engineering that has gone in to make this device. If you want to know the 14 things that I change on my Galaxy Note line to take it up to another level, this is the video for you. Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make technology simple. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing, especially if you're into gadgets and apps and tech tips to become more productive, more efficient, and getting a lot more out of your system. That's what I do here on the show, and every Tuesday we release a series called Tech Tip Tuesday. Definitely check that out. That's up here in the cards. Button to subscribe is right down here, and let's get on to today's show. So the Galaxy Note 9 really does have lots and lots of settings, lots and lots of features you can turn on, turn off. I'm sure you've seen it as you explored your way through the Note 9. Now today I'm going to show you the 14 settings that I like to change to make my Galaxy really another level of awesomeness. And speaking of awesomeness, I'd like to give a big shout out to the guys and girls at Verizon. Thanks very much for hooking me up with the phone, really appreciate it. Link will be in the description below. So follow me as I take you through those settings. Choose the ones that you like, enable them, play with them, and really take advantage of the full potential of what the Galaxy Note 9 can do for you. And let's get on to today's show. Right, let's get started. So, on the Note 9, if you swipe up, you get a list of all your apps. And if you swipe down, you get a list of all your apps. Well, that kind of seems a bit pointless. So, here's what you do. Long press on the screen. Then choose the home screen settings. Once you do that, go down to the see quick open notification panel and enable that. But now that you've done that, when you swipe up, you get your apps. But when you swipe down, you're going to get your good old settings. That's the way it's supposed to be. Swipe down again and it expands those settings. Superb. I never know what this button is actually called, but it's your last used applications. It's applications that have been open. Now, this view is a little bit too insane for my liking, so I press the three little dots at the top, press on list view, and now it looks like a much more manageable list. Here what I can do, press any of the apps, obviously it will launch them, but now next to each app you can see there are two little squares or rectangles. Press on them and then it basically it splits the screen, puts one at the top, and then I can launch the second one at the bottom. So here I've got maps at the top and I'm running Chrome at the bottom. That's cool. Right, next up, let's talk about the making the phone brighter or dimmer. Now you've obviously got the slider that we're used to seeing on all our phones, but we're normally used to seeing it straight as you pull down your settings. Well, on the Note 9 it's buried a little bit further in. So here's what you do. Swipe down twice. And then choose the next to the slider, you've got the little arrow that's pointing down. And then enable where it says set to the top. Click on done. And now when you slide it down, it's back to its rightful place right at the top of your screen. The Galaxy Note 9 has amazing sounds, but you can actually customize that for even more control. Go into your settings, choose sound and vibrations and scroll down to the bottom until you see the option sound quality and effects. Now by default Dolby Atmos is set to off. You can enable that and now it's set to automatic. Now if you click on Dolby Atmos again you can set it to the type of system that you listen to, to music, movie, voice etc. And it's got equalizers that you can play with as well and if you tap on the equalizer button you can even set the type of music that you're currently listening to. So again more granular control of your sound. Now there's two other customizations you can do even though your screen is off or your screen is in the lock mode. You can set the clock to be different depending on this mode. Here's what I mean. Go into your lock screen and then go down and then choose clock style. Here's where you can customize your clock, what you want it to look like, how retro, funky, way out there you want to be. And that could be on the always on display. In other words, when the phone is in standby mode. And you can have a different clock settings when your phone is in the lock screen mode. So that could be a different style. Once you've chosen your style, you can even set the colors. And you can choose to automatically have the color adjust based on the color of your background. Or you can force it to be a specific color. 
Once you've had enough and you've played with all the settings, press on done. And let me show you what that looks like. Switch it off. And right, that's your lock screen. So on your lock screen, I can see I've got this kind of funky clock. And on the display, there we go. But wait, there is more. On your same lock screen, you can actually add additional widgets. So go into your lock screen, scroll down until you find something called face widgets, press on that. And here you can see currently music controller is enabled, but I can enable scheduler, I can enable your alarm, your weather, and if you don't like the order that it's in, go to the top and then choose reorder, and you can move things kind of up and down as you'd like them to be. Nice thing about being able to customize it, you can't add additional, you can only choose from the ones that it's given you. So that is a bit of a downside, but that's what we've got, so that's what we play with. Now, once you are happy where you want to be, you can say, where do I want them? I want them on the lock screen, on the always on display, or I want them on both locations. So let's see what that looks like. So here is the on display, and you can see there's no widget there. And here we go, we're going to switch it on to the lock screen, and there's my widgets. So I've got my clock, I've got my weather, and then no alarm, thankfully. If you think we were done with the lock screen, nay nay, you would be wrong. Go into your settings, go into your lock screen, scroll down, there's your face widgets. Nope, we want to go a little bit further to something called apps shortcuts. Press that. Now you can see on the left hand side and the right hand side, I've got two shortcuts to two specific applications. These could be changed. It could be anything that you want them to be, making your life a lot easier. So I'm going to change mine to Chrome on the left side and then Calendar on the right side. So let me show you what that looks like. Now what we're going to do is lock the phone. And there it is, two apps on the bottom left. Now when you swipe up, it doesn't just allow you to launch it. You have to put in whatever security settings you have in place so nobody can simply launch your apps and see your stuff. Next up, let's customize the navigation bar. So go into settings, scroll down until you see display, then scroll down until you see something called uh, the navigation bar. Press on that. Now here, the first thing you can do is customize the color. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you can't really see it on the display here, but it does actually change. So scrolling further down, you can see something called unlock with the home button, and then you can either enable or disable that, and that's up to you. And of course, you can customize the button layout from recent home back, or you can choose to back home recent. The beauty of the Note 9 is of course, it's very, very large real estate, but apparently we need to squeeze some more. So within Chrome, you've got the navigation bar, double tap on the bottom dot and it disappears. Now you can swipe up, I'll show you that, and you bring it back temporarily. So you can go to the home screen, for example, or if you want to bring it back permanently, swipe up again and then double tap on the dot on the left side and it keeps it there. I'm not sure what this is enabled by default, but go into settings, go into your advanced features and then scroll down until you see finger sensor gesture. Now, when you enable that, what that allows you to do is use your finger sensor at the back to pull down your notification. Very, very helpful, especially with a phone of this size. So let me show you. See that notifications? You go to the back, you got your finger sensor that's there. When you do that motion, it basically pulls down that notification. Pull down twice and it pulls that down. Great to be able to read your information. And of course, we're not done with the always on display yet, are we? Go into your settings. Scroll down until you see the lock screen. You know the screen intimately well by now. Go into the always on display and enable that if it's not already enabled. And here you can choose to gain on and off depending on what your phone is set to. But this time you can choose what you want to see on the display. Just the clock, the home button on the home button and the clock. So it saves a little bit of battery if you don't have the clock there all the time. Do you want to see it show it always, again to save some battery, or do you want to only display it during certain times? Now, I'm going to show you what mine looks like. I've set mine to the home button only. And you know what? This looks like another brand of phone, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, let's talk about the top status bar. So what you do is press the settings and this time you're gonna choose display. 
Now in the display, you're gonna choose the option that's called, further down, yeah, there we go, called the status bar, press on that. Now, status bar allows you to have the percentage of your battery, you can enable or disable that. Wait, hold on, let me bring that closer. Focus, okay, show battery percentage, see right now it's off, press that and there's 80% battery. And a nice gesture to be able to only see the three most recent notifications on the top there, otherwise you have a parade of notifications spanning your entire screen. Under your display, you've got something called edge screen, and besides playing with the lights, you've got something called the edge panels. Now this is curated little information widgets that you can enable or disable. You can select more than one, and that's actually become a little bit more useful than in the past versions. So just select a whole bunch, simply tap on them, and now whenever you want to access it, there is your edge panel. Simply scroll once, twice, three times, until you get the information you were looking for. Depending on your minimalist stance on your phone, you might want to enable this or disable this. Long hold, choose the home app settings and enable the app icon badge. And what this does is we say show with number. If you've got any app with any unread messages, it will give you a little number. Now long hold that again, home setting applications, and then this time choose show me without the number. And this will just do a little dot knowing that you've got unread messages. Press again, go back into that widget, and then at this time go into the app icon badges and say show notification and if you do that you can actually get a preview by long holding the app to show you what the messages actually are now it's up to you how much you want on your screen and how little you want on your screen it's all customizable so we've only just begun to scratch the surface of what is possible with the Note 9. There's so much more tech that's built into this device and maybe future episodes will dedicate to more features. Now if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. It really helps me and my passion to be able to bring you these videos. More tech, more gadgets. Let me know what you want to see. Hit them in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Guys, that's it. Comes to the end of the show. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. Cheers for now. We'll be right